It's summer, time for the pool, barbecues, vacation, beaches, and a lot of sweating. The question is, what watches should you wear for summer? Well, it's certainly not this. My favorite daily watch, the IWC Mark 18 Edition Le Petit Prince. The reason for that is the watch comes in the factory leather strap and in the sweaty and sweltering summer months, leather isn't an ideal combination. I will be getting a few new straps for this watch that will hopefully make it summer friendly in the next few weeks. I do hope you'll join me for that. Now let's get to some watches you could wear for the summer and I'm going to start with the most offbeat choice, my Doxa Sub 200. This watch comes in aquamarine or as we like to call everything in this color or color palette, Tiffany blue these days. The reason I like this watch is number one, it features a very comfortable rubber strap. The second thing is for those pool and beach times and perhaps if you are a recreational diver like I am, the 200 meters of water resistance certainly helps. The other thing is this watch is relatively easy to wear, not being too thick and not being too heavy on the wrists. And it goes with the majority of the casual summer outfits. So I do recommend a watch with this color palette and in this style. The next one is perhaps the Omega Moon Swatch. Mine over here is the Mission to Uranus once again in the light blue or Tiffany blue dial. One thing about this watch, the strap it comes with is particularly uncomfortable with the Velcro on it. I have changed it out, truth be known, for a cheap strap that I bought on Amazon. I will be upgrading this strap as well in the next few weeks and I will be doing a video on that as well. But this watch is one of those watches you can wear every time you're on dry land. I don't recommend taking this watch into the water because of its partly 30 meters of water resistance. This watch, however, was beautifully on the wrist like any Omega Speedmaster, the real big boy version does. And it's an icon. Everywhere you go, people will be asking you about this watch and talking to you about it. I have walked into very high-end watch boutiques and the conversation always centered around this watch. So that's my second watch. The third watch is more of the daily category and more of a everyday wear for the summer, the Citizen Suyosa. This is my latest pickup. And this watch is a 40 millimeter integrated stainless steel watch with a date complication. It features 50 meters of water resistance, so it's perhaps surface swimmable. Once again, I would say this watch makes the summer daily watch, particularly since it features the integrated bracelet in it. You'll find one thing in common in all of these three watches is the color. They're all this light aquamarine turquoise blue or Tiffany blue. And there's a reason behind that. Ever since Patek and Tiffany launched the Tiffany 5711, there has been significant interest in watches with this color or color palette of a dial. I understand the 5711 caused a lot of acrimony between some loyal Tiffany customers with the amount Tiffany wanted the customers to spend to be eligible for that watch. My sales rep at Tiffany actually told me that initially it was one million of spend and right before the auction of the first watch that went for north of six million US dollars, that number rose to five million, which is frankly a silly number, so much so it caused acrimony between Paddock and Tiffany, to which Tiffany's only allowed to sell Paddock at one store, the New York City flagship store. Add to that, the next watch probably in the hype lane has been the Rolex Oyster Perpetual. I'd have a reasonable spend, I would consider a healthy spend at my authorized dealer. I bought a Patek Philippe Calatrava, Tudor Black Bay 58, a Chopard clock, 
probably in excess of $40,000 over a 12 to 18 month period. And realistically, even I couldn't get that watch. I'm certainly not saying that my spend was ultra high, but it was, in my opinion, significant at least not to even qualify for what in essence is a base Rolex model. So these three watches are still of the time in the right color, significantly cheaper. As a matter of fact, there is no watch on here that's more than $1,000. This Doxa at just north of $900 is the most expensive watch on this list. The Citizen follows at just north of $400, around $450 US dollars. And as everyone knows, the Moon Swatch can be had for $260. There you have it. My recommendations for summer watches. Importantly, you can wear these watches all summer long, have fun with them, and given the price point, you, you're not going to break the bank. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate everyone's support as you followed my watch collection or addiction journey. And I hope you're going to stay tuned for more videos on this channel. Thank you.